It is 638 this morning for many just thinking about oysters brings to mind delicious dishes like the ones served up there just with a dash of lemon on some ice. But oysters mean so much more than a tasty treat. They are also an important part of our environment. And that is why the vanishing of Florida oyster beds is such a big concern. Joining us on Sunrise this morning, we have two guests, documentary producer Chucha Barber and also director Josh McLawhorn. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you for having right. us. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. Now, their latest film is called Unfiltered, the truth about oysters. First of all, Chucha, what drew you to this project? Well, actually, I had uh, read read in the newspaper that there was a um, big grant that was going to go to Florida State University Marine Studies to study the collapse of Apalachicola Bay. And that is such an important body of water for our region. And we just wanted to know more about it. And we discovered that 90% of the oyster reefs in the world have collapsed. So this is a very significant global crisis because oysters are estuaries for um, all the sea life, you know, baby fish, baby crabs, baby shrimp. And and it is really a very important matter. Wow, just uh, showing us the far reaching nature of that 90% of the world and it's something that affects us right here. So definitely a worthy cause to delve into. Josh, this was your first feature length film. Tell me a little bit about that process. And first I wanna say congratulations as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I've done a lot of work for television, but uh, this was the first theatrical project I've worked on. And there were a lot of challenges that came with that, but um, you know we learned as we went, and I think that we um, we tackled all those challenges and came up with a excellent film that's compelling and can be enjoyed by people who know a lot about oysters and people who know very little. Um, and so we look forward to seeing the response from audiences who see it. And I think uh, such a wonderful thing about that is how much you learn and what you learn. What do you feel like you learned that um, you could share with some of our viewers who maybe haven't seen it yet, but will about how they can work to protect uh, some of some of the oyster population in our in our area? I think the, the biggest takeaway from the film is that there are things that individual people can do. And the big change that we need is going to have to come from larger organizations like state government and frankly, federal government. Um, there are shell recycling efforts that are being done in a lot of communities, which we highlight in the film, and that could really be replicated in a lot of coastal communities throughout the, th throughout the world, really. And it took you to one important uh, restaurant, if I'm not mistaken. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely, so um, in the Sarasota Bay area, uh, there is a, a group of restaurants which has formed a public-private partnership with um, Waste Pro and various different, um, you know, nonprofit partners and what they do is they essentially take the um, the shells from the restaurant they collect them in a special bin they take them and let them bleach in the sun and then they use those shells that were formerly going into a landfill and they're using them to rebuild oyster reefs Wow. We actually filmed um, 300 volunteers putting 30 tons of oyster shells back into Sarasota Bay. And um, we're going to premiere the film for the first time to the public at the Sarasota Film Festival on March 29th. And um, we're really excited because now other organizations are already contacting us. Um, we got a phone call this week from the Food and Film Festival in Newport, Rhode Island. They want us to be the premier film there. So. Um, it's just starting to take off and it's really very exciting. And it is definitely exciting. It is taking off and you will have the opportunity to see that. We'll get all of that information for you on our website. Chucha, Josh, thank you both for joining us this thank morning. Thank you for having thank us. You. It's a pleasure.